seven represents a number seven. Ram Seven is a mummy who is so old she has been wearing the same bandages for centuries. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of one times seven? Mrs Wonderwand can't help playing tricks on her friends. <laughs> when she comes across Mrs Ram Seven, she casts a spell and changes her into Ram Seven Clown. One times seven is seven. <laughs> Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of two times seven? Great, it's Christmas. Two Squeaks and Ram Seven decide to give each other a present. Aha. Two Squeaks, judging by the lovely smell, <laughs> thinks her present is a cheese. She loves cheese. Mm. Ram Seven would like to get a sock. Hers are all so old. They both open their presents, but Two Squeaks has got a sock in the shape of a one. She is so disappointed, she throws it away. As for Ram Seven, she finds an old piece of cheese in the shape of a four. She throws it away too. A very merry Christmas. Two times seven is 14. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of three times seven? When Frankenstein tries to repair himself by readjusting the nails on his head, he drops the hammer on Ram Seven's foot, who howls in pain. Frankenstein sheepishly uncovers the mummy's injured toe and throws away the strip of bandage in the shape of a two. The mummy snatches up the hammer, shows Threakenstein how to hammer a nail, and throws away the tool shaped like a one. DIY can really drive you nuts. Three times seven is 21. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of four times seven? When Vamp Four sees the mummy Ram Seven, he can't help biting her. But he only manages to take a bite out of the mummy's handbag. She is so angry. She rears up and hits Vamp Four on the head spilling everything in her bag. A fine banknote in the shape of a two and several coins which pile up in the shape of an eight. We have an economic issue. Four times seven is 28. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of five times seven? Mr. Flaming Five is invited to the mummy Ram Seven's birthday party. As usual, he always wants to light the candles. Very proudly, he takes a deep breath and blows such a big flame that it burns everything in its way. The mummy, the cake, 
and even Mrs. Flaming Five's horns, which are in the shape of a three. She is so angry, she shows them to her husband. Five times seven is 35. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of six times seven? When Scorpy Six meets the mummy Ram Seven, he pulls on her bandages with his stinging tail and changes the poor mummy into a spinning top. Very pleased with the trick he has just played, he laughs very loudly. Then, seeing a beautiful cactus in the shape of a four, Scorpy Six throws the bandages onto it. They stick on in the shape of a two. Six times seven is 42. What's the story of seven times seven? It's the new year. Granny Ram Seven and Grandpa Ram Seven are having a party. Grandpa wants to play a trick on Granny. He blows his party trumpet right in her ear. Granny Ram Seven is so surprised, she loses her hat in the shape of a four. She angrily seizes Grandpa's toy, which is in the shape of a nine, and gets rid of it once and for all. Come on, the party's over. Time for bed. Seven times seven is 49. What's the story of seven times eight? The mummy ram seven wants to catch a beautiful ibis with her net. But Spooky Eight, the ghost, arrives and frightens both the mummy and the bird. The net lands on the ghost's head and the ibis flies down in the shape of a five. Spooky Eight takes off the net, which is in the shape of a six, and throws it away. The mummy is furious that her hunting expedition has been spoiled. Seven times eight is fifty-six. What's the story of seven times nine? It's tea time. Mummy Ram Seven comes to give a cup of tea to her friend Slimy Nine. But she trips and breaks her teapot. Hearing the noise, Slimy Nine appears and goes to search in his burrow. He comes back with a very dusty teapot. He gives it a rub to make it clean. But what a surprise! It isn't a teapot, it's an old magic lamp in the shape of a six. And from it springs a genie in the shape of a three. Seven times nine is 63. What's the story of seven times 10? When Ram Seven meets the potion Magi 10, it makes her very, very hungry. She dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. She gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Seven times ten is seventy. <laughs>